Hello everyone, it's Jude here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Series. After almost a year of keeping users waiting, the Google Assistant app is finally now available on the Galaxy Watch 4. This is coming barely two weeks after Samsung indicated in a blog post that Google Assistant is coming to the Galaxy Watch 4 later this summer. It is not summer yet. However, we now have Google Assistant right on the Galaxy Watch 4, which is a very big surprise to many of us. So yesterday, I was just scrolling through my Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here, and lo and behold, I stumbled upon the Google Assistant app. I was very surprised that I had to check my last update on the watch. Apparently, it appears that the Google Assistant app is being added to the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic by default. According to Samsung, the Google Assistant app will be available in 10 markets, which includes Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Ireland, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, the UK, and the United States. The Google Assistant will also support 12 languages which includes Danish, English, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, French, and more. So guys, if you have not received the Google Assistant app on your Galaxy Watch 4 or Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, please be patient, it will definitely get to you. When you receive the Google Assistant app on your Galaxy Watch 4, you need to activate it to be able to access its features. So in this video, guys, I feel very elated to share with you guys how to activate the Google Assistant app right on the Galaxy Watch 4. So stay tuned guys. Welcome back guys. We will now go ahead and activate the Google Assistant app right on the Galaxy Watch 4. You will need to complete the activation process on your connected smartphone. So I've already enabled um, internet um, access. Okay, so you need to enable internet access on your smartphone. Okay, to complete this process. So guys, we're going to start the activation um, process. Okay, we we'll simply go to the Google Assistant app. Okay, let's close at the bottom. As you can see, this is the Google Assistant um, app. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Okay. So I'm going to tap on this to start this um, activation process. Okay, it says activate Google Assistant on your watch, get started. So tap on get started. It says to talk to Google Assistant on your watch, first activate it from your phone. So I'm going to tap on this and this will open this process on my phone. Okay, as you can see guys, it's opening it up right on my phone. Okay. As you can see, you need to update your Google Assistant. I'm going to tap on update. Okay, let's update this. The update is complete, so I'll tap on continue. Okay. And it says connecting to your watch. Your assistant will be right with you. Now it says activate Google Assistant, use your voice to send text, manage your day and get quick answers. I'll tap on activate to continue. Okay, it says access your assistant with Hey Google, your watch will wait in standby mode to give you hands-free help. I'll tap on text, I'll tap on next to proceed. Okay, it says um, agree to voice match. Here's what you need to keep in mind. As you can see, you can read through that, okay? If you're okay with that, um, you tap on agree. If you're not okay with it, you can go ahead and tap on no thanks. Um, I think um, I'll tap on no thanks for now. And it says, get personal results on your watch. Allow your assistant to give info specific, specific to you on your watch. I'll tap on um, turn on. Okay, if you don't want this, just tap on no thanks. I'll tap on turn on for this. 
okay and it says talk to your assistant with a button get right to your assistant from your watch homes key set this up okay i'll show you how to do that later on so just tap on gory okay and it says voila your assistant is ready try saying things such as call mom set a timer for 30 minutes what's the weather today all right we're going to try that out so guys i'm going to tap on done to complete this process so tap on done okay the process is now complete so guys we just finished setting up google assistant on the galaxy watch 4 right we're gonna just um, tap on it and um we're testing it out hey google what is today's date hi how can i help what is today's date it's tuesday the 24th of may 2022 all right, thank you, Google. I'll tap on go back. Hey, Google, what is the tallest building in the world? Hello there. How can I be of service? What is the tallest building in the world? The world's tallest buildings include Burj Khalifa at 828 meters, Shanghai Tower at 632 meters, and eight others. All right, thank you, Google. I'll go back again. So guys, we're going to try to make a call with Google Assistant and see how that works as well. Call Linda. Calling Linda, mobile. Use this to complete the call, okay? Send a message. Want a message? Send a message to Linda. Got it. What's the message? I will call you back. Sending your message. So, guys, I will just go ahead to show you how you can customize the home key here to easily access Google Assistant. To do that, we go to the settings app, tap on it. You go to advanced features tap on that and go to customize keys tap on that and you have two options here as far as this home key is concerned okay so you have double press simply scroll to google assistant here and choose it and you also have press and hold simply scroll to where it says assistant you have with this be at the top here so i'll choose um, google assistant now when i double press the home key here it will open up google assistant i want to long press the home key it will also open up google assistant so we're going to try that out so that we can actually confirm that it actually works so i'm going to double press this it opens up google assistant i will go back i'm going to long press it this time it opens up google assistant so guys, that is how you can activate Google Assistant on the Galaxy Watch 4 as well as customize the home key to easily access Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4 or Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. That is it for this video guys. Please, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.